video, I'm gonna try to take my parkour character from my indie game that I've been working on and move it into Unreal's Matrix Sample City. Can I actually end up using this map and all of these cool components? Upgrade my indie game. Why would you do that? Then what is the point of all this? What are all these different components he's talking about? I'm glad you asked that, viewer. That definitely sounds and looks like that. <laughs> Here, take this walking stick and let me explain to you. Okay, so there's tons of stuff that added, like new dynamic light system that can go from this to this, new system for loading parts of the map whenever needed, character retargeting, which is one of my favorites, I'll talk about this later, new way to render polygons as needed, and a lot more. But the ones I want to focus on at the moment is that sweet looking environment and the mass AI crowd system, which allows you to set up crowd and traffic AI for open worlds. And since I'm a solo developer, you don't mind if I try to we're finally here guys, I've opened the Unreal Engine, let's run it, let's see what happens. A few moments later... What? What's happening? What? It hurts. What's going on? Don't let your kids watch it! I was expecting that, but I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. After doing my intense research though, I found some ways we can try to increase the FPS. And so, after applying these changes, I decided to give it another go. because I lied. There was one more tweak I had to do to get this result. And honestly, it gave me some creepy vibes because apart from the AI looking terrible now, there's no collision at all, so you just go through them. So it feels like you're just alone in a huge ghost town. Which doesn't really work for my game idea, but I decided to keep looking deeper. And I found this example mod that they have for the AI. And as you see, the same issue still persists. The FPS is too low for such a small map. However, this gave me a better understanding of how the AI system works using data-oriented programming instead of the original OO. Oh, and also this. So, what's the conclusion you're asking? Well, Unreal Engine 5 is cool and all, but it's still in experimental stage. I'm sure we'll see a lot more updates and a lot more tutorials. But for the time being, I think I'm gonna stick with Unreal Engine 4, as I've been trying to recreate my own little system that manages all the cars and pedestrians spawned around the player. Hey! Not again, guys, enough. Jeez. But the worst part is, when I try to turn it into multiplayer, the Unreal just crashes. Oh, hell no! I'm not sure which system caused this issue, but I'll need to spend a lot more time to investigate. I think I will leave that for another video though. For my next devlog, I want to get back to Unreal Engine 4 and pick up where I left off implementing prototypes features, like grabbing pedestrians and throwing them. So subscribe for that not to miss this video when it comes out. So yeah, that's it. Peace out, y'all.